Gibson cloning is a molecular cloning method used to join multiple DNA fragments in a single reaction. This method has gotten popular since its discovery as it allows for precise DNA assembly seamlessly and without the need for multiple steps. Before diving into a working example, let's go over what actually takes place during the Gibson isothermal reaction. To start, in order for two or more DNA sequences to be assembled, they must have overlapping DNA ends, which are complementary to each other. Once the DNA fragments are prepared, the DNA is mixed with a reaction master mix that includes three enzymes that will drive three main enzymatic activities. First, exonuclease will chew back the five prime ends of the DNA fragments to create single-stranded DNA overhangs. This will result in the two strands that anneal to one another. Next, DNA polymerase extends the five prime ends, closing the DNA gaps. Lastly, DNA ligase seals the nix in the backbone, forming a continuous double-stranded DNA molecule. Now let's have a look at an example workflow of all the steps you would need to take from start to finish to complete a successful Gibson assembly. In this example, we will have a look at all the steps typically taken to clone a gene of interest or a DNA fragment into a DNA vector. There are three major steps following with one, linearizing the vector, two, PCR amplification of the DNA fragment with overhangs, and lastly, setting up the Gibson assembly reaction. So there are two different approaches you can take to linearize your vector, either inverse PCR or restrictive digest. For inverse PCR, primers are designed around the insert sites and amplify the entire vector backbone. For restrictive digest, enzymes are used to cut at the insert site to linearize the vector backbone. I personally find restrictive digest a lot easier to apply, especially when working with a large construct. So if you can take this approach, I definitely recommend doing so. Just note, if you plan to linearize using only one restriction enzyme, make sure to use a phosphatase to remove the 5' phosphate at the DNA ends so that your vector does not reclose. Second is to amplify your DNA fragment using primers that will add DNA overhangs to your DNA fragment that are complementary to the ends of your vector. The best way to design these primers is using NEB's NEB Builder Assembly tool. I will walk you through an example to show you how this can be easily done. Here I have an example of a vector and the DNA fragment insert gene. To design the right primers, I go to NEB Builder Assembly Tool with the link provided in the description below. To begin, press on New Fragment and start by copy-pasting the DNA sequence of the vector. To preview DNA, I like to use SnapGene Viewer, which is the free version of SnapGene. Select All, Copy, then Paste. Process the text, select Vector and Circular. Here you can name your vector so you stay organized with your data and then you will select the method that will be used to linearize your vector. As I previously mentioned, my go-to method is always restriction enzyme digest. To find the appropriate enzymes to use, what you can do is go back to your snap gene file. At the bottom, click on map to see where you plan to clone your DNA fragment. Then you want to identify the enzymes that will cut at the site and only at that site. You can identify these enzymes by clicking enzymes at the bottom then from chosen enzymes at the top, select unique cutters. Go back to your map and you can pick from the enzymes listed. I'm gonna pick ECORI and KPNI. Add these to the NEB Builder assembly tool. Next, add new fragment, the DNA fragment that will be amplified and cloned into the vector. Process the text, name the fragment, Select the method for production, PCR, proceed. Here you can continue to add more DNA fragments or select done to receive an assembly summary where you will find the designed forward and reverse primer sequences. The final step is setting up the Gibson assembly reaction, which you will use to amplify your DNA fragment. The final step is setting up the Gibson assembly reaction. To set up the reaction, I recommend using NEB's assembly master mix I provide a link in the description below. Here is the reaction setup. You will need to determine the optimal amount of DNA of the insert and vector to use in your reaction. Since we are cloning two fragments, it is recommended to use between 0.02 and 0.5 picomoles of DNA. As well, to optimize cloning efficiency, it is recommended to use 50 to 100 nanograms of vector 
with two to three fold molar excess of each insert. To help you measure DNA picomoles, you can use this equation or use NEB's NEB biocalculator, link provided in the description below. On the NEB biocalculator, you can add the insert DNA length, the vector DNA length, and then add the DNA mass for the vector. So let's say 100 nanograms. We saw that we want to use two to three folds. So let's say three folds. So that's 69.49 nanograms of the insert to use. To check the mass, go to mass to moles, add the length of the vector, and then add the mass that is used, so 100 nanograms, and you get the moles of DNA, which is 30.2 femtomoles, which is a thousand fold less than picomoles. Check the insert, add the length of the insert and the mass that was previously calculated and you get the moles of the DNA, which is 90.61 femtomole, which add up to 0.12 picomoles. So that is within the range that is recommended. Once the mix is prepared, incubate samples in a thermocycler at 50 degrees Celsius and it is recommended to do 15 minutes for two to three fragments, but I always keep my samples in for an hour just in case. So it is up to you, but I recommend one hour. And then following incubation, you can either store your samples on ice or at 20, uh, minus 20 degrees for subsequent transformation. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see more related content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel.